Hey, my name is Bianca, but you might know me around as Stormy. I'm a content creator from Western Australia, and the main platform that I work on is on Twitch. If you're just about to start streaming, I have some tips that will help you before you even hit the go live button. There's some very basic and effective ways of making a great first impression on Twitch, and I'm here with Legion Player 2 to help you out. So let's get going. First things first, make sure you add a profile picture and fill in your bio. You can put whatever you want in there. I think something that best fits with your personality or your brand I think is a really good way to go. And if you're really stuck for what to put in there, maybe just mention some of your favorite genres or some of your favorite titles or even some of your favorite consoles just so people can get to know you better. This is generally one of the first things that people will see of your page. The next step after this I would definitely recommend is utilizing the use of panels. They're found in your about section on your Twitch channel page and it's a great way of telling other people about yourself, your stream, your channel, your community, what your goals are, where other people can find you on social media. It's a great way of going into a little bit more detail, maybe things you can add in your short bio to kind of tell people more about yourself and introduce yourself in the best way possible. A great way to break up some information that you have in your panel section is to have a header image. By having a header image, you can basically break up the information to make things look really easy to find and follow through. It doesn't look so overwhelming if everything is just text. You can create your own for free using websites like Canva or any kind of free design tool um, to create a very consistent, uh, you know, color scheme. Uh, the ones that I had on my channel are uh, created by an artist on Fiverr because I had something very specific in mind for what I wanted to have in my page. As well as this, you can also add panel extensions or even just plain images if you really wanted to showcase something in particular. There's a lot to play around with and not enough time for me to go into detail of everything, but just play around with it, have fun, mess around with the layout of it too, make it your own and tell the world who you are. Another tip that I have for your Twitch channel page to make a great first impression is to make a channel trailer. A channel trailer can really give your audience a good insight into who you are, what you do, and what to expect on your stream. Twitch allows you under a minute of footage to be featured on your channel, so get creative. What's the best way that you can show your viewers who you are, what you do, and what to expect on your stream? Have a lot of fun with it, and if you're stuck for ideas, my channel trailer features me introducing myself very quickly and then is followed by some of my favorite moments on stream. I definitely recommend updating your channel trailer now and again because you'll find that as you stream, you'll start to accumulate more different clips. Sometimes your personal style might change or you might do a bit of a rebranding or you might want to feature something entirely different. So keep it current and up to date and showcase what makes you, you. So one of my final beginner tips is to think about your stream presentation when you're live. And one of the biggest things when it comes to showing what you feature on your screen when you're live is that less is more. It can be really fun, admittedly, to get carried away with different graphics and alerts and just different kind of features to have on your screen. But sometimes you run into the trouble of the screen looking too busy and a bit too messy. So keep it nice and simple. Take some time to customize elements of your stream, like your alerts, for example. You can use images or GIFs to pop up when a certain alert goes off, like a follow. So I think just taking the time to add in a GIF that best represents you or best represents the channel or the community, it's just gonna be a really great way of defining who you are and what you bring to your stream. So have a lot of fun going to set that one up. I would also definitely recommend using a chatbot as well. There's a lot of different chatbots that you can install and connect to your Twitch account and you can utilize them in a lot of different ways to help kind of take your stream to the next level and add some extra features that will help you and your audience. So for example, with my chatbot, I have it go through a timer system of different types of messages, whether that might be to greet people who might be in the stream, it might be featuring some of my social media channels. It's a really great way of relaying information so you don't have to, and a great way for people to check out more of your stuff while you're going live as well.
What a lot of people generally like doing as well is having some sort of goal to work towards or having some community recognition through labels that you can feature the latest follower, the latest subscriber, things like that. I think community recognition is such a great thing and it's great to utilize it through your stream in the way of graphics and things too. So I definitely recommend thinking about your stream presentation before you go live. Think about the way that best expresses you and your community and what you love and what best defines you because people are going to notice that and it just makes a great first impression when people can see that you've taken that extra step to really customize your Twitch space and really make it your own. So there's my tips on how to create a great first impression on Twitch. If you get a little bit lost and don't know where to start, I would definitely recommend checking out some of your favorite streamers channels. If you see something that you like, whether it might be an alert on stream or something that they featured in their panel section, but you don't know how to do it, YouTube is your best friend. I have learned so much from watching other people teach how they create a certain effect or a certain uh, reaction from the alert on stream. There is just so much you can do with it and the best thing I can recommend is just making it your own, having fun with it and really letting your personality shine through by the way that you set up your channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found some of these tips really helpful. All the best in your streaming and happy gaming.